It's pedal to the metal, keeping on that grind. Gotta keep it moving, never looking behind the stove. It's the blade and the sparks, they gonna fly. There's beauty in the making when you're taking your time. Sure as it beats working nine to five, it's easy when you love it and you're busy living that sharp life. That sharp line. All right. So, what would you say was the first tactical knife, like that you made? Which one was that? The the the, the model thirty. The model thirty. Yeah. Now that was a fixed blade, and that's this one right here. I'm going to show this one. This was a table display. This was the uh, the original Model 30. Do we have a good view of that? Yeah, okay. yeah, I got a really good the view. The original of it. Model 30, and I had this as a table display, and I showed how it could be pounded through a sheet of stainless steel without any damage to the tip. That's that's pretty and impressive. Then, so you were doing the cold steel stuff before cold steel was. Um, this was long before cold steel even in, was even invented. Yes. Yeah. Uh, anyway, here we go. There yeah, we go. Bob, Bob invented the hard use test as hard, well. Well, not only the hard use test, but also what I did was I took it out to the range and made a setup there where I could shoot at it. And I had this set up in a vise. And I fired at it with a 45, and I was able to retrieve the split bullets. some of the bullet parts that had been split by the knife. And I doubt that you can see it, but on the blade... Oh, you can see it. It's really see clear. See the scuff marks there? Mm -hmm. It's very clear. Yeah, that's from the, that's from the bullets as I split them. Um, I actually hit it most of the eight times that I fired, but I was only able to retrieve uh, parts for three Six, different bullets for three different bullets when i came up with the atcf i had a friend who um, he had a a plastics factory in romeo michigan and he was also uh uh kind of a an operative you could call it he was a helicopter pilot he worked with the karen in um, i believe it was thailand kind of rebels and he got the idea of making injection molded sides for the ATCF. And what he did is he made a very interesting material. It was basically the first time, usually, usually um, injection molded parts, especially for knives, are made from glass filled nylon, 30% uh, glass fibers to add strength to the nylon. What he did was he used carbon fibers instead of glass. And as far as I know, that ATCF was the very first um, folding knife or any kind of knife to use carbon fiber in any way. And it was injection molded, two sides that went on to the uh, like scales on the side of the knife. And as Susan mentioned, uh, hard use test, I drove my K5 Blazer over the edge of the knife and the handle uh, just to and we took pictures of it just to show how um sturdy the material was and how strong and resilient it could be so that was another hard use test that i came up with it's a pretty good one you're going to get flexing and cracking in most materials if you're, yeah. you're doing that yeah so that was that was your was that a fold that was the atc at folding knife correct so was the ATCF your first folding knife design? No, it was actually the model number three. I called it the TTF-3, Terzawola Titanium Folder. And that was a series that I made. There was the TTF-1, which that was the first um, titanium folding knife. It was kind of a utility blade, a bit of a spear point. Um, not very tactical, but a good carrying around, everyday carry type of knife. Number two was a Mariner design, and um, that uh, that was quite successful. It had a sheep's foot blade, 
and also titanium handle. So it was the TTF series is what I called it. And the number three was the beginning of the tactical knife, and that was the ATCF. And believe it or not, I'm still making them, and people still want them, and they're still in high demand. And now they're called. And they're going to be coming. Um, now they're called. What are they called now? TCFOG. The uh, yeah, I didn't come up with this. Somebody came up with it. <laughs> ATCF. Susan came up with it. Okay, ATCF OG. <laughs> yeah, the OG. original gangster. So okay, <laughs> that's a popular use. We took a quick break. We're back. So you're talking about the TTF series and how it was designed to be used because that was the, the original folding knife. It was the originally the yeah, TTF. The, the, the whole series, the TTF series, Toys of World of Titanium Folders, was basically uh, intended to be taken out and used, carried, everyday carry. Uh, it was intentionally unadorned. It was plain titanium. I used the best, most exotic space age materials that I could. In those days, uh, titanium was a brand new material. There was only one other person using it. And that was Michael Walker. And Michael Walker and his wife, Patricia, were doing beautiful work with it. But in, um, in, in a more um, adorned designed artistic sort of way. Uh, Patricia, Michael's wife, was an excellent engraver and she developed a technique of anodizing it selectively with a with a charged, electrically charged paintbrush with the with the anodizing liquid and she would make a, a, an engraving of she had one that was absolutely stunningly gorgeous called the tree of life it was a big beautiful tree with all sorts of birds and, and things around there and she was able to selectively anodize different parts of it so she had like the greenish leaves and the bluish sky and the and the birds and so forth and she was able to do that in a very colorful artistic way and Michael and Patricia were the only ones uh, using titanium at the time. And uh, I went up to uh, Michael's uh, shop in Taos, New Mexico. I was living in Santa Fe at the time. And um, asked him to show me, first of all, how to use titanium, but mainly how to make the liner lock, which he had invented. And that was the genesis, the beginning of the TTF series. But I didn't want to have an adorned um artistic i wasn't i wasn't looking for an art for for artwork i was looking for uh, a usable knife that people wouldn't be afraid to take out in, in the woods or truckers on the road or packers or riggers or anybody take them to work keep them in their pocket and uh, and use them every day so i didn't I purposely didn't adorn them. I didn't uh, put any kind of scales or anything else on them. That came much later. 